Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level to Megabase. And uh, last episode we just got our processing units done. That is uh, extremely exciting and uh, it will mean that we soon, very very soon, can get our power armor since we have all the things needed and we can go down and get some exoskeletons. But uh, this episode will be focusing on us getting our production science, or purple science as you may call it. So uh, let's get that up and running. Um, the recipe is quite straightforward. We have all the main resources we need, so uh, let's set it up right after we add some new research. Um, let's see what we could need. We could take some better batteries, might be good for our power arm when we get it. A bit better speed on our robots so they can move or craft things a bit faster. And maybe go in and just get a few more of the productivity and uh, other things, our speed and efficiency. So look at what we want to do. We want to produce one of these each second. Since it produces three every 21 seconds, we will need seven, uh, what's called labs, what to call them, but seven uh, assemblers doing productivity production science. So that means we will have to make a few rails, electro furnaces and productivity modules to get that done. Since we need seven of those, we need to produce um, seven productivity modules as well. And uh, that shouldn't be too bad to get done. So uh, firstly, let's start by setting up our productivity modules just here at the top. Uh, if we just make a few, don't really mind the ratios right now. But if we look at one of them, it takes 15 seconds to make one. And we need seven or something like that. We need to have one per uh, per three seconds. If we need one per three seconds, that means we need five to have one per three seconds. So that ratio uh, pretty much calculates out with five of these. So let's get what we need in right here. That means we'll have it outputting to right here very easily. And on the opposite side, we have electric furnaces, the other part of our production science. Here as well, we need, what is it? One per second, or one per three seconds. So to do one per three seconds, we pretty much just need, need two to get that done. So uh, let's just set up assemblies for two, one, two going on each side of this belt to uh, make sure we have enough input for everything we need. Let's just set it up like this. For this one though, we need three inputs. It doesn't really matter what we take since we have more than enough. So double inputs, we'll do double long-handed and two normal ones. That should supply this with everything they need. This one will be a mixed belt of uh, circuits and oh, electronic circuits and advanced circuits. So that is quite good. That means we'll have the output here of what we need. That can kind of go down this way. And then we just need one more thing. We need to set up some rails. Steel is already coming in here, so we can, can actually fix this by just getting stone and iron in on a mixed belt. So let's see how we do this. Let's just make, let's say something like three rails, rails. I think that will be good. And we need a bit more room. So let's see here. If we want the rails to come in right here. Let's see rails making those. We'll have an iron. No, we don't want an iron coming in here. Sorry. We want to smooth this up a small amount, to be honest, just because I want to make, try to make a good ratio build, but uh, it doesn't always work. So now we can take the steel from here. Is that how we want to build it? 
We want to have the steel and the iron rods. So instead of doing that, let's move it down one more time. At one point, I will be satisfied with what I'm doing. And then right here, we'll do that. And on... Let's see what was I trying to do. I'm trying to find room how to put the, the iron sticks down. Or we could probably do something like this, maybe. What if we make it like this? Doing that. Not very compact, but it should supply everything we need. Since one of these can supply two, then uh, this should be just fine. That way we can still have iron coming in on this belt. Being grabbed down to this one right here. Then on this one, we want to get the steel. And the steel we can take either from the bottom or the top. Oh, you know what? Since this one only needs three, we can actually put iron on one of the belts as well. And that means we can probably move this up a bit. So let's see if we do something like this instead. I think that might be a good solution. Don't know if this is going to be fast enough. Can actually skip this one. Should be good like this. And that way we can split the iron into this one. So it will grab iron, iron. Grab the steel. And then we just need to get stone in. Uh, could make four belts in the middle to get the stone. And uh, I'll put these somewhere else. Because we need one more. We can take it in right here. So maybe doing something like this. Going in. Or maybe the opposite, going out this way and going in right here. And then we'll just add what's called the seven uh, things here below. Now I want to do it opposite. I want to do it like in and out. Because if we do that, we can do something like this, going this way and that way. And then we can hook up the things we need. At least I think that might be good. I might be overcomplicating this a small amount, but uh, just for the fun of it, let's try and see if we can't get this to work. So this will supply the things out we need. We'll get the rods, then we can do one in with to be honest, the rest of what we need. So uh, what I want to do now is just try and hook it up and see how it goes. We can always dismantle it. But it's always easier to see when, uh, when things are running. So let's just go up here to our little mall, grab some belts, grab a few things. And we should probably grab something so we can make a power armor on the way back. I think that might be good. So let's see here. Belts, please. Let's get those, those as well. The rest is good. I get a few more inserters just to be good. And that is not too shabby. I think I brought what I needed, at least for now. While we do this, let's do some more science just to get some things on the road and researched. There we are. And let's grab some of the things we need. One thing I am noticing is that this can not keep any more up anymore, so we'll have to expand it down. And I'm a bit sad I didn't put in more room because we want to drag more copper uh, further down. But we might be able to do it let's see like this what if you just because this is 
getting more than enough. So let's just do this quickly. You can jump from here to there, be fine. And then we can actually just split you off this way. Make you go north. And go into this one. So let's just copy this part to right here. I think that should be good. Let's try. Get a little robots to help us a bit. We'll need this one to stop here. You can turn and you can turn down this way. To right here for now. And there we are. Hook you up. You are fine. Need to get this one to jump, to be honest. That was one thing I forgot. So you can jump from here to there. And go down. Of course, we need to do the same on the opposite side, but this should actually be all we need to uh, to get this running. Come on, little robots, you can do it. I believe in you. So that activates that, doubling our red right here. Have to do the same down here as we did up top. So that will mean we'll have to do a little jumpy jumpy from you to here and splitting you off. Going down this way. You'll have to go away, you'll have to turn. No, you'll have to jump. And then here and you can just go down this way for now. That will activate that side of uh, the belt, pretty much doubling our red our advanced circuits. Yeah, it just needs to catch up and then it's all good. The rest we'll fix as well when we're here, because we don't want the science to stop. So uh, please do this, little robots. Luckily, you should. You are good at stuff like this. There we go. Copy paste you to right. Here it's not really necessary. We could just line them up directly next to each other. But let's just keep with the same uh, setup for now. There we are. And this is why I love robots. It makes everything so much easier to do. That pretty much gave us a bit more plastic. This making bit more than it can output because it is making two a second that means this one can only support less than this but oh, let's do that just for now and upgrade you that should give us uh, a lot more for our belts and hopefully it can keep up without jamming it can't so there we are. And a neat trick to do, if uh, if these are jamming up and can't output fast enough, you can do a little trick like this. Pretty much just take, I see if you can support four, then just do this and back that way. That way you can get the uh, things on different sides of the belt and uh, make things run a bit smoother. So back to what we're really doing, and that was setting up um, our production science. Let's go down this way, and actually grabbing a few things to make, there we are, and some processing units. So we should probably make a bit longer to uh, make sure that we use the rest of the things we can make. Is that enough? And there we are, crafting a power armor while we wait. So let's see here. I'd like to have some power here and there and there. We'll need to have some power down here as well on both sides. You can place it right here in the middle. I think that will be 
should have been fine, but it's not really. But right here should fit most of it. And you can just go there. I think we're fine. For now. We might have to move it later, but for now it's at least, at least working. There we are. And let's hook up the things. This will give us these. One, two. Third one will be iron and stone. Oh, we do have enough. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So this three is actually enough. We don't actually need a second one down here. I just kind of miscounted that. And that's something you learn when you start to, uh, to look at the things. So let's see if we do something like this. Uh, I kind of want to get it to go down this way first and then maybe circle up the other way. I know this is going to look a bit stupid, but uh, bear with me. It's for a good reason. And then we'll do seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To here, making productivity out onto our belt. Going this way. Hopefully, this will do exactly what I want it to do. That's always fun trying to uh, oh, do it this way. Make something that looks good and works. And there. And then a long handed one to pick up the rest. So let's see here long handed one. There we are. And a bit of power. There we are, and the same down here. So, now we just need to activate it and watch the things flow around in hopefully the correct way. Oh, that's a lot of uh, mismatch. So let's try and activate this. When this goes in, goes on this side of the belt. This one goes to the opposite side, going down here. Picks up these two. Then this one gets its steel from this one. And it gets its iron and stone from the bottom one. So it means we'll just have to have one in. Oh, not that many. Might need to let's just see one more over here. That's steel, and then we'll do what's called iron and the things here. There we go. I think this is correct. Let's try and hook it up and get things flowing. Good. Red and green right here. Well, that's gonna be quite exciting how this is going to go. Let's just get you going down this way. Let's get our red as well from over here. And then we need to merge these two into one belt. We could do it down here, we can do it in here. So that means we'll have one here and one there. And things going in. And that's going to be the green ones. Oh, this is going to be so exciting to see if this works. <laughs> and then we need the red ones uh, below. Coming in right here. Continuing over a bit more from right. Here seems to be correct. Please split you off as well. Something like this. I know I'm mixing, mixing, mixing matching quite a few belts, but uh, that's just the way it goes. And that should give us a ton of productivity as it is right now. Here comes the red. Good. That's productivity set up. Then we need 
the red circle from up here, we can kind of take down here or take it somewhere else. I kind of want brick and steel, no, no sorry, brick and advanced circus on the uh, middle one, or the top one, sorry. So let's get that one first. We can kind of just jump you from here to here to give us some room and see how we have to go. So first things first, let's take the brick. Not the brick, sorry, let's take these. You will have to line up like this. Please take you. And you'll line up to right here, it seems to be correct. No, I have to be right there. That's gonna be a red circuit in. And then we need a brick. That's gonna be a bit further back. Which is always nice. And while we're up top, let's just collect a lot of the things we are missing. See, brick is... Where is our brick? Is it really that far back? Oh, it's all the way up here, so uh, we'll have to take that all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully our system can handle it. I can already see that our green circus is starting to... Uh, to lack a bit, but that's just the way it goes. You, you, and you're fine. Let's grab some of you as well. Oh, that's too much. Kind of want to get rid of all of this junk. So let's just go and drop that off at our array, which is starting to lack quite a bit in terms of iron. So uh, next episode will probably be us trying to, uh, to go and grab some more. Because this is not a good situation to be in, even. Let's look, only half of it is kind of working. And stone can just go over here. There we are. Yeah, so as you can see, we are quite, quite starved for resources. Might just drag in a belt. And no, a train would be better. But I kind of want to save that for a. Uh, another time so first things first let's remove that's fine let's move these two and let's take our brick and stone down south there we are go this way please get the robots to place a lot of the other things while we're here but uh, they can't keep up as it is right now but yeah we are starting to see the backside of expanding too fast and that is a lack of resources in our uh, case it's a lack of uh, of iron since we are starting to use quite a lot on uh, what's called this and we might just want to stop the research for a little while and let our base catch up because you can see everything's just emptying out but right here we wanted to get the stone bricks and advanced circuits in you can just activate again that's fine here is the split please go in this way and then the stone is coming right here. Has to go into this one. So if you do just that, please build it for me, little robots. Thank you very much. Jump from here to there. Do a little splitty splitty. And get you in this way. That should give us the stone bricks we need for this and this just needs normal stone so that means we'll have to get two in here but that's two of the things we need then we need steel and stone on this one yeah steel and stone you can just go out this way and go down right here and we will need to get two things in we can just do it like this so steel is a bit further north again 
as one of the things we haven't connected up yet. But we'll do in just a second. Here is steel coming down by our main bus. And we can probably take it down here and split it out this way. So taking steel here might be better than taking uh, the iron. The iron we can easily get from uh, the other one. Cross steel in and the other one we want. Or stone we can actually get in as well if we want it. And we have both here so we could actually mix them out here instead. Let's see what we are going to do. Uh, uh, um. Steel and stone. Steel is the most important. Stone can be the next part. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one they're on. So steel, stone and iron on the last one. Oh, it seems we're actually quite, quite good at, uh, at the moment. Steel stone. Steel stone. So we can actually mix both of them out here and save a bit of room. Um, what if we just do something like uh, this then? Since we do have a bit of room to work with now, do something like that. And mix them out here. Saying we want one here and want the other one to go right there. I think that would be fine. Jump you to there. Get you in. Jump you to right here. Get that one hooked up like this. It's a bit messy, but everything should flow down correctly now if we do this. Going into this one giving it what it needs over here. That should activate that one. That should give us everything we need here except the iron rods. And that means we just need to get iron in. And look at that. We have iron so close by. Hooking that one up. Right here. Not the most elegant solution. But it should work without a hitch. There we go. Could have made one sided, but uh, or to be honest, a good way to do that, since we don't need that much iron, we can always just do a side loading. If you don't know, that's just where you yeah, side load the ore. And uh, then you don't get that uh, two lane full. And there we are. That's going to produce all our rails for us. Oh, we need to get it to here. That's rails running without any issue. You can go away. You can go away as well, and you can go away. So look at that. That's everything we need for our science. That means we can hook it up. And then next episode... Oh, I actually don't know if this is a good build, but uh, hopefully it will work as I intend. At least for now, it looks like it is. It is at least producing science. And that is exactly what I want. So let's hook this one up to uh, to the belt right up here. No need to use uh, more than necessary. Just going to go a bit out to uh, save a bit of uh, or make a bit of room for our future expansion if we need to. And then drag this one up this way. Hooking up to our chemical science belt. Please just jump over this one to here and then do that. And just as that, we have our next science, our production science. That is extremely, extremely good. Now we just kind of need to solve our uh, input issues. So uh, the main issue is actually just iron as it stands right now. So uh, let's just make a drag it up with the belt for now. Pretty much just dragging it into this. It's quite close by. So I think that will be the first thing we do next episode. Uh, so far, things are going extremely well. 
we are not really uh, in any issue in terms of our base at the moment. So that is extremely nice. So um, hopefully you are enjoying this series. I at least enjoy making it very, very much. And do comment if the ratios are wrong down here. I have a feeling they are, but uh, who knows? We will uh, we will check it next episode. If they are wrong, we can always just expand down and get more of them. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you'll give me a like and subscribe, and then I will see you in the next episode. Bye.